Okay, here's some good news. Um, uh, people are starting to replicate this um, pulsed inverted jewel thief circuit, and Xenomorph over at the Energetic Forum has changed the timer circuit to a short duty that uh, he's gone to a 15% on time, which is goes on 15% of the time and then is off and then on 15% of the time. And he used a calculator that he found online that let him change the values of the the circuit in here. Now this is a little bit different circuit than I'm using and I have done a few modifications here too but the whole idea was to shorten the time that the coil was on because if you leave it on too long you just waste the energy. So anyway you might want to stop this and look at the values that I have put on it but uh, I've changed things a little bit from what he did but it's greatly changed from that part there that part's been changed quite a bit. And take a look at that, stop the screen, look at those values and see what's happening now on it. And what that did was that shortened up the duty cycle which saved the energy. And that all equated to huge savings on the amp draw. That's 20 milliamps. I'm now at, um, gosh this is hard to get to focus. This is at um, 5 volts coming off a 12 volt power supply. I'm using a little uh, step down voltage regulator here and I've got a fluorescent bulb running. Now the other thing I've got is I've also got charging going on. This is what I've been working so hard with was trying to get the circuit so that I'd have light, I'd have charging, and I'd have low amp draw which is what the jewel thief runs at. And that's him right there. He's looking at this. He wants to know what that big round thing is there. Anyway, um, I'm going to show the cap build up when I disconnect it from the battery here so that you'll see that I actually do have charging going on here. There goes the voltage on the capacitor when I disconnect it from the battery here. I've just got a capacitor there to show you the, the um, back spike that's coming off the collapsing field of the coil. I'll plug it back in again. I ran this last night. Um, and it does charge it up and it does run at uh, the low the low uh, amp draw. Now I can increase the light still if I want to by dialing up the dials. It's just uh, you pay for it. You pay for it with, uh, with amp draw. And there goes the light. And then I'm going to dial up the... the um, I'm right now I'm at 80 milliamps which is still not much. I'm going to give it some more voltage here. And watch, this is going to go right on up. There goes the bright light. But now I'm up to 220 milliamps or so. And I'm running at about 11 volts. But there's my bright light. And of course I've, I've got great charging going on too. Watch this cap build now when I disconnect from the battery. It goes right on up. So um, you have to be careful you don't burn stuff up when you're doing that, when you're driving it hard. But if you want the bright light, the bright light's there, and like I say, you got great charging. It, the amp draw is still not horrible. It's 220 milliamps, which isn't bad, at 11 volts. And uh, like I say, this was all because of what Xenomorph did here. And what he did was he shortened down the duty cycle to a real short, and he used his calculator that was online. It was a 555 timer calculator. Maybe you can see that website. He had a link to it. And uh, there's a lot of these on the web that lets you put in different values and they spit out what you need to put into the circuit to make it do what you want it to do. But anyway, I'm real happy with this. This is um, getting ready to the point where I'm going to try to box it. And I'm going to be using the small light there. It's the only one that I've got. Of all these bulbs I've tried, it's the only one. It's a 13 watt Sylvania that lets me do the charging without going off. All the other ones, the minute I hook the charger up, kills the bulb. If anybody has any ideas why that's happening, sing out. Because I don't know why. I don't know why that bulb goes out when I hook it up to the battery. Everyone except that 13 watt right there. Anyway, that's the latest on it. Now what I've been able to do is I eliminated the um, uh, 20 ohm 10 watt ballast resistors that were in the circuit. Now that I'm running at such a slow, uh, low amp draw, I went to just a um, half watt um, resistors here to a couple of 10, 
10 ohm half watt resistors and they go on the base of that transistor right there. But anyway, things are running real good right now. I sure appreciate all the help from all the people that have commented and are doing research on this and working on it with me. And uh, this is quite a circuit and it was a bunch of people working together that all made it happen. And my goal is to make this circuit here run just like that guy right there. And then he'll have a big brother. And then uh, this will be a CFL circuit that I flip the batteries back and forth with a toggle switch back and forth, A to B. And then uh, one charges the other up while the other one's running. And that'll be the, that'll be the system right there.